Hey, hey guys, what is going on? It's Ruth here and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about your daily method of operation or your DMO. So for those of you who are watching, if you haven't joined our new Facebook group yet, it is called The Corner Office at Home. You can visit it by uh, typing in the URL cornerofficeathome.com. You'll be brought to the group and we'd happy to be happy to have you in there. Inside that group, we teach marketing training and online training and we actually release our podcast in that group every single day so if you're looking for marketing training it's a free group free training industry generic no one's going to try and recruit you so you can hop into that group anyway i get this question all the time about daily methods of operation so in today's video i'm going to give you let's see eight things that you should be doing every day if you're serious about building your, your business from the comfort of home. So it's eight things, but it's not gonna take you eight hours, I promise you. So number one, guys, is really getting your mind right. So if you wake up in the morning and you're maybe you live with someone who isn't positive or who, um, maybe watches the news too much and it really kind of zaps your energy, get up earlier, get up earlier and do something to get your head right. Because our business is not a hard business, but if your head isn't right, then it becomes a hard business. If you've got a lot of negativity around you, maybe you live with someone negative, maybe there's something negative going on in your life, make sure you create a clearing so that you can start your day right. And if that means getting up early, then get up early. And I know some of you are probably thinking, ah, I can't get up any earlier than I already am. I've got kids to get ready for school. I've got, you know, maybe you've got babies, maybe you've got older kids, maybe you've got something, maybe your husband's like a kid. <laughs> maybe you've got something going on in your life that you can't do that, but do it. It will make your day so much more productive. Okay, that's the first one. Second one, drink water. So, that is absolutely one of the very first things I do in the morning is drink a lot of water because when we when we wake up in the morning, our brains are literally like little shriveled up raisins and we need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate to make them work right. So drink lots of water, you know, um, that's the first thing I do before I have a coffee. So let me know if you love coffee and love coffee, but I have water first to rehydrate my raisin brain into looking like a grape again. So it functions really well during the day. Okay. The next one is, is this one might sound weird to some of you, but it's create a piece of content. So if you're not being seen out there, then no one's going to find you. And if you're using the online space to build your business, the more you're seen and the more places you're seen, the more people are going to find you, the more people who are going to follow you, the more people are going to come to love your brand, love who you are. And that's how we grow our businesses, right? But if you're not showing up daily on social media in terms of a piece of content, then you're missing the boat. So what does content look like? It could be a post, it could be a video, it could be a live video, it could be a story. You could be on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, you know, any of the social media platforms are good places that you can be posting and you can repurpose posts so that you don't have to create an exact unique piece of content every day for each platform because that would take eight hours and we don't want to do that right okay the next thing is is this one is so important and this is one that i see a lot of people avoid okay the other ones are easy fill your pipeline so fill your pipeline with the people that you want to do business with now what does that look like it looks like maybe having a conversation with someone, reaching out to someone, commenting on something uh, that they put in a group that you know resonates with you or that is relevant. Um, taking it into Messenger, creating that relationship, have a new follower, have a new Facebook friend, um, have a new like on your Facebook page. It means filling your pipeline with the right kind of people so that they see your content 
and start to follow you. That's that follower becomes a fan, right? So fill your pipeline and commit to how many conversations you're going to have in, in a day. Now, I am not going to tell you how many I have in a day because your head might explode and you might run away from this business and we don't want that. But many, many of you are part time in this business. And is that two conversations a day? Is that two you, new unique people that you have a conversation with? Right. So commit to a number, whether it's two or five or 10 or 50 or 100 doesn't matter. Just it ma matters that you do it consistently every day. And think about it. If you just do two a day, two new conversations a day, two new followers, two new friends, whatever that is, that's like almost 800 in a year, right? Even if it's one a day, that's 365 new people who are watching you. So make sure you do it consistently. And you've, if you think about those numbers, 20 new followers is like talking to a classroom. 200 new followers is like talking to a movie theater full of people. So when you start thinking about it that way, that daily consistent action every day of having a new relationship come into your social media, into your life, into your circle, into your brand is exactly what's going to grow your following and grow your business. Now, an add on to this point is this is where the rubber meets the road, right? How many presentations are you putting in front of any number of those people every single day? How many times are you letting them know that you have a business and you're sharing your opportunity or your products? That could look like having a Zoom call. It could look like ha sh sharing a video, a company video. It could be adding them to an ATM group so they can have a look at something. How many people per day are you committed to have them look at information? Because if no one is looking at information, your business is not growing. I guarantee it. Okay. And this is the part that a lot of people avoid because they go, oh, they're not going to, they're not going to say yes. They're going to reject me. I'm going to go hide in the closet for a while because my mom rejected me when I was two years old. Stop, stop. This is your business. And the only way to grow it is to make presentations or show people information. So get out there and do it. Okay. Um, so making presentations. The next one is super simple is use your products. So if you joined a business and, you know, maybe you pay the sign up fee, but you went, uh, I'm not going to buy a pack because I'm going to wait till some people join and I'm going to wait till I sell some products and I'm going to wait till someone visits my website and buy some stuff. And then I'm going to invest in my business. I guarantee you, you're going to last a month or two and then you're going to be gone because you'll have no business. We cannot build businesses unless we are experiencing the products ourselves and then we love them and we get all excited about them and uh, we you know, get fired up and have passion. And that way we can actually share them authentically with people, right? So be a product of your product. Next thing, show up exactly as you are. Okay, don't try and be someone else. Don't just be who you are. Because quite honestly, there's a lot of people out there who won't resonate with me. They're going to go, oh, she's too loud or she's too old or she's too this or you know she annoys me I don't like her weird tattoo or whatever right and that's totally cool because there's lots of people who are in your downline or on your team that will resonate with that person who doesn't like you right so make sure that show as you because that's what that's how you're gonna attract like-minded people right so, and plus, when we try and be like someone else, people see through that. They go, oh, that's crap. That's not authentic. That's not who she really is. Like, like people are savvy now on social media. They, they know right away when you're trying to be, be not who you are. Um, 
So show up exactly as you are. And just another point on that. And this one is one that if you've been in the online space for a while, I think you'll understand this. So many people that I attract come from the attraction marketing world. So they, they understand that by posting certain things, they can attract people to them so that they can grow their business with like-minded people and, um, you know, grow a downline or grow a customer base. Totally valid concept. One thousand percent. And if you think about it, there's nothing new about attraction marketing. Every single successful brick and mortar business does it. Think about Apple. Think about um, think about the travel companies. Right. That's attraction marketing. So every company that has a successful marketing program, they're putting out valuable content to attract their potential customers to them so that they can do business. That's all marketing is, right? But it's been coined attraction marketing. Anyway, long story short, I know I'm rambling. This drives me crazy. So a lot of people who do attraction marketing, they think they have this fundamental belief that if they just show up every day and put out good content, then groves of people are going to reach out and go, I want to join you. I want to do your business. Um, you know, they're like signing up automatically. They're buying product automatically. And what happens is, is their businesses don't grow. And the reason is, is they've gone too far on one side of marketing where they never ever mention the, their products or let people know they're in a business or, or anything like that. So that's one end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum is the people who don't do attraction marketing and they just slam their social media with posts of their pictures and, you know, before and after pictures. And, you know, today we have free shipping and I'm looking for five people to join my downline because I'm about to rank advance. Like, ah, no one's going to do that. So, Really, we've got these two ends of the spectrum, the people who just verbal vomit all over social media and the people who never, ever mention anything about their business because they're waiting for they're waiting for the tribe to show up. Right. The problem is, is if you never let anyone know about your business or your products, they're going to end up joining someone else. And then all of a sudden you're going to go, you're going to see them in, you know, maybe in your organization and another team. And they're going to go, wait a minute, Cynthia, I've been talking to you for eight months and why didn't you join me? Right. So Cynthia is going to say, I didn't even know you were in a business. And here you've put in eight months of work getting this person to follow you and maybe having, you know, some some kind of generic conversations, and then they never sign up. They sign up with someone else. That would suck. It happens, right? So you have to strategically let people know you are absolutely in a business, but you're not that spammy person. So maybe you're showing things like some behind the scenes, you know, look at what your desk looks like. Maybe in your Facebook and Instagram stories, you're doing a little, you know, product demo, right? In your story where you're not saying, hey, this is for sale, go buy it, here's my link. But you've got one of your products like I have here and you put it on your face and you, you know, maybe the next story is, man, I, you know, my face looks 10 years younger, right? So people know you are in business. They know you have products. They know you have a team. They know you have a team that's in momentum. Yes, but it's not spammy. And most of the time you just add value. But if you never let people know what you do, then you're going to be waiting a long time for that tribe to show up. Okay. So there's a difference there. There's a spectrum you want to be kind of right in the middle, right? Where you're not annoying people, you're adding value, 
uh, people come to know, like, and trust you, but they absolutely know what you do. Okay, so that's my DMO list. Those are the things that you should be really thinking about every day and doing in your business. Most of them take literally like two minutes, right? And the rest of them, don't find yourself procrastinating an hour before you do <laughs> before you do it, because then you're going to have a long day as well. You can literally do this if you're part time do this DMO in an hour a day. So hopefully you guys found some value in this. Um, let me know if you had if you found some value by hitting some of those love heart emojis. And uh, I will be back again tomorrow with more training. Hope you have an awesome day. Bye for now.